Hi, I'm Eric Barsness, conservation agronomist with the Natural Resources Conservation Service, and I have a few quick modifications I can show you to a handheld soil sampling probe. So here I have my standard soil sampling probe. I've made a few uh, little adjustments to it. I've added a simple piece of PVC pipe to hold my, sam my cleaning brush, and uh, as you can see on this brush here, I've actually added a little dowel. I just drilled a hole in the end of that, added a wood glue to dowel in there to uh, make cleaning the end of the probe a lot easier. Um, that just gets stored right on there. And I've also added a couple small things, might be hard to see, but I, I've got a little couple marks there and that's strategically placed right at six inches. And that's exactly the depth I need to take for my Im immobile nutrients, the phosphorus, potassium, things like that, right at six inches. I also made a small mark up here, so when I do a deep sample, um, I can take the top six inches and put that in a bucket. So depending on my sampling needs, if I'm just sampling for, for P and K, immobile nutrients, I can only go that deep. If I do the full, full depth of the sample, then I'll take the top six inches. So I got two marks on my soil probe to make my sampling more precise. I added a, a brush holder on, the, on here. I just took a piece of PVC pipe, one exactly the size of the brush, and I, I just used some zip ties and zip tied it onto the handle there to hold my brush. Um, when I'm sampling, I'll have my, my probe upside down, pull the brush very simply, clean out the end of that, and move on to take the next sample. Some people will just put the brush in the handle, but for the most part when you're sampling and you go to cleaning this out, the handle's down, the brush is down there and the handle's not very handy. So I put the, the brush holder right on, right on the main part of the, of the soil probe. So when I go to clean the, the tube out, I have it right there in handy. I also left this thing so it slides a little bit. So when I'm taking a zero to six inch sample, I can leave it down here at the end. If I need to go deeper into the soil profile, I can slide that whole brush holder up there, allow myself to get the, a lot more of the probe deeper into the, into the soil.